Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So now that I've got the bike mostly all put back together, the last thing I ever had to do with this thing is to do the rear fender on this. Now the rear fender that I did have is this one down here, and I had to go in and cut it in half and stretch it out probably about that far. And because uh, this is off of a touring bike, not made for a soft tail. I didn't know that I'd have to go in and do a bunch of cutting and stretching and filling and everything else to make this work. But I really like the way the tail end is. But I did end up getting a four inch soft tail stretch fender for this thing, uh, just to have the bike all done. But eventually, I think over the summer, whatever else, I'll try to make this one work. It's just I ended up needing, ended up needing a lot more depth here. Cause right, cause right here is where the hole is. It would be here and you can see how far down this is. And I'd have to actually stretch this way down. But maybe, I, maybe I'll get a video on this whenever I'm working on it over the time. I still really want this fender on there. So now I'm just gonna go in and sand all this down and uh, shoot some color on it and then clear it. Final stages. In a couple days, about ready to take this thing in to get the dyno tuning done. I've had to go in and paint up this fender. Yes, this is not the fender that I initially wanted, but it's gonna work for now. Getting all the finishing touches. Ended up having a fuel leak up underneath here where it goes into the bottom of the tank. I replace that line. Get all my wires ran, get all of the wires solder sticked. Currently working on the blinker systems. Now this side here has got blinkers in each of, each of the sides here. So my initial thought is to take this fairing, which was, which was made for a Honda bike. And it's got uh, little holes in the very back of it to clamp onto forks up here so my thought is to make this a removable fairing if I want to go on rides and just go with this I can because a lot of times I just want all the breeze in my face you know so I've got a bunch of these since these blinker lights are all three wires but I'm just gonna make a couple of snap connections to get this fairing off whenever I want to because I still want to be able to run the blinkers here while I have the fairings off but then have to disconnect the lights in a radio from the fairing when I want to take it off oh god my head hurts I don't know let me see how this is gonna work I may not get this done uh, before dyno tuning but at least I'll have lights on the front so I can at least ride this thing around now uh, let's get this thing figured out. I temporarily just had these installed to figure out what my wiring was because, I don't know, for some reason some idiot forgot to uh, write down which color wires go to what function on these things that's probably true i am an idiot now i have these working again and in the fairing got two holes here in each side for these yeah they do come with uh they come with the little rubber and well, yeah you've seen the rubber but they also come with a uh, chrome trim ring now these are just like your semi truck lights that you'll see all over the place
I'm just trying to go in and figure out which one is the actual blinking wire. So now that I got my left side blinking with my left side and my right with my right, now it is just time to figure out how I'm going to quick connect all this garbage that I've just created. Now this, now this wire here, this black wire, that is the actual factory wire for the lights. And these three, I've actually drilled another hole in, put a rubber grommet in, and these were these are going to be the turn signal and the daylight portion no i think that's gonna look really good with the lights and the fairing and the, and the lights up here all flashing together i'm just trying to create something a little different than what you'd see and do things a little differently maybe first thing i'm going to do though is go ahead and get this light wired in to have the blinky blinks just sorry i have the light on here and I'll slowly get to this thing over here, but I don't think I'll have all that finished. I gotta load this thing up tomorrow to get it down to the dyno shop. And then once it's back, I can I can work on finishing it up. I'm I'm I really want to ride this thing. <laughs> and so long. Come on, man. So the plan is to have these connectors come out on each of these holes here which I would then be able to tie in to my lights that are going to be sitting right here They're on both sides therefore I'd be able to disconnect all of this from the back of the light so I think I need to make some Y connections off of the main blinker lines to pigtail into these and i think that would be able to let me disconnect the fairing when i want to go ride without it so i'm gonna try finally got it figured out check it out oh don't expect the fairing to be on there quite yet but Got my clips, one on each side. Got everything semi hid back here. Still gotta put some tape on that to hide that better. But, let's turn this on. As you can see, you got the daylights, daytime running lights, and the main light here. But, Got turn signals. Yep. So now with so now with these clips, I'll be able to have the fairing. I'll be able to put the fairing on here, and then clip those in to run all the lights. Now I know this is not what you're supposed to do, but this was going to be a continuous loop to turn off and on. All the LED lighting I was going to put on here after this thing was all finished, but uh, somebody forgot to run another set of lines dumb, dumb. for power underneath all the tank and everything else. And I'm not going <laughs> to, I am not going to take all that off. No, at least yet. But I can use a test light to figure out which one comes from the hot. Because I still have to hook them up at the battery yet. Right, I'll run another pigtail up here for all the radio. All right, so I think I finally got it all figured out here. It's about time. And 
I got a quick connect harness here that goes into another quick connect harness right there that all plugs into the main line or the main wiring line. And I still got to get my speakers in. And I think I need to trim out the front of my fairing here to fit that on. This is why I really needed the uh, five and three quarter, but I really don't want a smaller headlight for this bike, especially if I take this off when I go ride sometimes. But yeah, you can see I got, this is all clamped in. This fairing was actually made for a Honda bike. So a little customization was needed for this to make it work, but I think I just about have it. I'm trying to hurry up and get done so I can get the fairing onto the front of this so I can get this thing loaded up and sent off in the morning. Now what I did for the fairing here, it's the same thing. Came out with my wires, tied them all in to quick connects. And these quick connects here will connect into these. For those blinker lights by keeping this all together like this i can keep the fairing in one piece and, and remove it as a whole off the bike but if i still need to get inside the fairing for any of these reasons here i'll be able to disconnect these same thing with the radio it's a it's quick connect underneath this here above the headlight 